it is day one of lockdown number three, um, the trilogy that nobody wanted. <laughs> um, my name's Ben Coleman. Um, I did Anna's last video diary of my life in lockdown for lockdown two. Uh, but this one is going to be a lot different um, because I'm a teacher. And for the second lockdown, we were obviously at school. It didn't really feel like a lockdown to me at all. This time, though, with uh, old uh, Johnson's announcement last night, means that I am teaching from home. And that is a challenge, a big challenge. Um, I will be required sometimes perhaps to go in to look after key worker children and vulnerable children that are there. But most of it will be teaching from home. Um we have the usual thing where we have the idiots and that's the nicest word for them uh, who say that teachers are have caused this being lazy. It's not the case at all. Um, we don't have that much power. Um, DS teachers put their foot down. Um, but most people agree it's the right thing to do because the safety of everyone is just important. And unfortunately schools were not safe. They were as safe as we could make them, but they just weren't. Um, so it is the right decision. It's not anything about being lazy. We do not get more holiday. I can tell you that I have had to plan and work harder since that announcement. Um, the most days, <laughs> um, mainly because we plan our lessons in advance and prep, you know, schemes of work. And I had weeks and weeks worth of material planned for if we were going back. Then when it changed into the, Christmas holidays to say that the first two weeks would be a bit different. I changed it again and now I've had to change it all again. So me, luckily I have an amazing, I work with an amazing team. So we're completely on it. We're changing schemes of work, but it's busy. So it's definitely not anything to do with teachers being lazy. Trust me, it's more work than being in. And it's very weird teaching to a screen, especially if they don't have their cameras or mics on because you're literally just talking to yourself a bit like what I'm doing now. It's why I've talked so much. I'm just getting good at it. Um, but I'm going to try and keep you updated with how things go. I'm not sure how interesting it will be, but uh, I can definitely give you a teacher's perspective on, on what life is like doing online learning. So here we go. <clears throat> okay. Well, <laughs> hello everyone. Um, I'm Stevie, my pronouns are she, they, and I am a fashion model. <laughs> Clearly not. Um, I work at, uh, let me just, there's no, there's, okay, cool. I work at an unnamed chained coffee store, um, and we're staying open during this lockdown, which is a decision, um, so I'll be keeping you all updated on that. I don't know. I don't know. This is new. I'm new. I'm new. If you didn't notice, I wasn't in the last one. I'm new. Um, <laughs> yeah. As you can see, I can film from work for the most part. We're pretty quiet. So I will update as we go. And, and, and welcome to Lockdown 3, everyone. I hope you're having a lovely time. I'm not. <laughs> this is just like a quick little disclaimer to say that I am filming these like in breaks and before work. So big boss man, please don't fire me if you see this. <laughs> I'm following the rules. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Good morning. I'm going to be spending the first day of lockdown reading, writing, going for a little walk and maybe playing some games. This is probably going to be one of my only days off, so I'm going to make the most of it by being very lazy and obnoxiously editing this video via my mobile phone. <laughs> Enjoy. Hello, good morning and welcome back to lockdown. Um, we had a month out of it and now we're here again. Um, if you can hear banging, they're digging a giant hole outside my house. I don't know why, I'm assuming it's something to do with the water, but I don't know. Um, 
good. Uh, anyway, so this morning I am tidying my bedroom because last night I decided it would be a fantastic idea to rearrange my room. Um, with a lot of effort, got bored halfway through and now my room's in absolute state. Which is great. Um, also, can't vac my bedroom because we bought a new vacuum cleaner from Curry's and it broke after two weeks so we've returned it and now they've said that they've lost the package great which means that they can't send us a new one sorry i had some flour from when i was baking so trying to sort that out so i'm just gonna have to use a scrubbing brush on my bedroom just to share with you <clears throat> one of the random thoughts i had last night in my anxiety fueled lack of sleep <laughs> um the real problems came to mind, including what happens to those primary school classes who have a class pet and a very kind and generous parent offered to take it home for Christmas for two weeks and now they're stuck with it. They're in it for like the long term. You know, you offer to have it for like two weeks over Christmas and you end up having it for two to three months. You know, some random, like, class hamster or guinea pig or... We had snails. Giant snails. Yeah. Something to think about. The real problems with this pandemic. Or even worse, what about the classes that have pets that stay in school and then they've only pop they popped in over Christmas just to give them a bit of food? you know, the ones that don't need feeding or looking after every day. And now they can't get back into school because, like, the caretakers are isolating or told to stay at home. Imagine that. You've been off school for six weeks, gone through the stress and the anxiety and the depression that lockdown can cause, only to come back and find you've got a dead class pet. Boris needs to address this in his next statement, I'm just saying. Hello, it's me again. Um, it's now been... Oh, my phone has been useless. There we go. Um, four hours? Five hours. Five, five, five hours um, at work. Um, we were in tier three before this, so we've been takeaway this whole time. None of the rules have changed for us, and um, we're probably getting about the same amount of trade as usual, which I have mixed feelings about. Obviously, I'm glad to be doing something, um, but there are a lot of people coming in that I feel don't have reasonable justification to be coming out just for a coffee. Um, we've had some nice customers, most are pretty nice. A lot that have told me that I should be happy to have a job, which is a difficult statement to reply to, <laughs> um, considering I was almost made redundant earlier this year. I know. Um, I'd still rather be at home, not encouraging people out. Um, but there you go. Uh, I've got like two more hours left and then I'm going to go to the bank uh, to pay in some cash because I don't like to have cash at the moment. I still have Christmas pennies and I need to pay bills. So, um, And then I'm going home, obviously, because it's lockdown and that's where everyone should be right now if they're not working or shopping for essentials. So, um, also, no one's told me that I look stunning today, and, um, you know? Anyway, <laughs> y'all are going to think I'm completely insane. That's fair. So, this is currently where I'm at. Um... These are actually sorted into piles and I'm about to put them away and um, after that I will be 
done sorting my room out. Fun. Here we go. Live lesson number three of the day. It's very weird because they have to have their cameras and mics off unless there's a specific reason or we need to talk to them. So that's always a bit strange because you're literally talking to a screen and not getting any visual cues or responses. So let's go. Sometimes there's just not enough time to actually get things done. And I'm starving and I'm not going to feel bad about it. But I'll say miss glass bottles. <laughs> This isn't going to work one handed. Hello. Um, sorry, that was my uh, bad impression there. Uh, off to a great start. I've gone weirdly shy about filming again. Me and Ben said that when we last finished filming, because lockdown ended, um, that we the next day we went to pick up our phones to film and now I'm out of practice with it that I'm going to have to get back into it because it it was fun. I really enjoyed doing this last time, which obviously why I've done it again. There's a lot more people joining us this time and everyone from the last videos too. Um, Rachel said that she might not take part every single day, but she's going to do when she can. Um, but I think about it actually, she's called Ray on the things now, so that's yes. Um, I've spent most of today tidying, organising, uh, watching Gilmore Girls, um, just so there was something on in the background really. I need to vac my bedroom but I've dusted, uh, I've got my Mac set up already to edit later. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm glad, well I'm not glad to be back in lockdown but I'm glad to be back doing these videos because as I said earlier, I missed them. Um, yeah, it's not a lot different for me. I'm back on furlough. I did go back to work for the Christmas period and <laughs> it was busy and manic and people were rude as per. It was great. Um, but I had a really nice Christmas and now we're here. Um, a few things. Uh, you may hear my mum coughing in the background. She doesn't have Covid. She has had a test. But she does have COPD and has a chest infection, um, which is getting treated now. She's on, she's got steroids for it and antibiotics or something, I don't know. Um, so it's getting better, but that means that she's coughing a lot. Um, I'm probably going to get that cold that she had, because I've been really good so far and not got it. But we'll have to see. Um said a few things, it was just that really. Um, anyway, let's carry on. It's going to be dark in about five minutes. <sighs> what a day. Um, finished my last online lesson. Um, have had to prep some work for tomorrow. Um, it really is rewriting entire schemes and rewriting entire lessons. It's really busy. Although the day does go incredibly quickly, I can't believe it's well you know four about half four at the moment for me um so that's crazy um but you know it's all going well so far so i'm being positive about it um i've also just released a trailer um for something i for something for my theater company last lockdown we did well the first lockdown we did a weekly but well, a daily actually taskmaster challenge um for people to just do and it got really popular um and we did like 
nearly 50 um, every, near pretty much every day. Um, I definitely can't handle doing it every day again, not at the moment with lockdown three and I feel a lot busier this time. So we're doing weekly challenges, which I think is nice. Um, so hopefully that will get some attention. So I've just released a trailer for that um, and it's getting a few likes. So that will be something fun to look forward to. So it's important to still be creative, even though we are stuck indoors. I'm um, about to leave work, but I mean, I just wanted to... Ooh, I think I invented fashion. Anyway, one home now, bye. <laughs> about half past seven so it's not that late but I am planning on getting into bed and just putting a series on. Um, basically I'm fairly certain I've got tonsillitis. Um, that freckles really come out as well. Cut that bit, Anna. Um, so it is about half past seven. Um, I'm about to get into bed, um, put a series on, and not do a lot for the rest of tonight. Um, I'm fairly certain I've got tonsillitis, and by fairly certain, I mean like 99% sure because my throat hurts. Um, my glands are up and there's stuff on my tonsils. Now if there wasn't stuff on my tonsils I'd probably be ordering myself a Covid test but um, yeah I, it, as far as I'm aware it's tonsillitis so I'm going to ring the doctors tomorrow and get that sorted out because not to be dream <coughs> oh, sorry not to be dramatic but the last time I had tonsillitis I nearly died so, I don't want to get that bad. Although it would make the videos fairly exciting. Um, anyway, this could be it for me for tonight. So, good night. I may post something else. I haven't posted anything of my cats yet. Let me see if I can. There she is. Having a good time. Um, anyway, welcome back to lockdown. And I'll see you tomorrow. Um, made it home. That's good. Um, stopped off at the bank on the way home. Had a bit of trouble. Um, the mis deposit machine ate my money uh, and didn't put it on my card. 
Um, but the lady working there was very nice. She was very helpful. She just put my money on there, which was great. Um, so thank you to unnamed banking branch in undisclosed area of Cornwall. Um, and now is the really exciting part of the day where I sit on the sofa under my duvet and watch Netflix and play Switch. Um, so I probably won't film that. Um, that's pretty much it for the rest of the day. My housemates and I have like a rotor, so I'm doing dishes this evening. I've just done the recycling sort as well um, for the bins tonight. Someone else cooking dinner and that's it. That's day one. How exciting. Tomorrow's going to be even more exciting. I've got a 12, no, 10, 10 and a half hour shift, um, which will be outstandingly fun. Um, but yeah. I'll probably see you then because it's there's not I don't really got a pace this you know like we've got a whole month maybe more so I just want to like ease you in and I talk a lot and ramble so I've probably already taken up a lot of time unless Anna's cut loads of me out um which is probably a good idea I'd understand I would so yeah happy lockdown everyone Um, so I napped, uh, when I went to sleep there were two cats, when I woke up they were none, it was very sad, um, my tonsillitis is definitely tonsillitis, uh, my tonsil reaches here, which is good, I've been taking pictures of it, as you do, um, but as far as I know, I'll probably have to send pictures to the doctor anyway, so it's probably easier that I've got a camera roll full of them because I'm disgusting and I like to like zoom in on it and look at it and then make myself feel a bit sick. Yeah, it's minging. I hit tonsillitis last time I had it. I was so ill. Um, in the space of about six hours, my tonsils, both of them, have grown so so I've no idea how I'm going to film it but I get to show a doctor's appointment during lockdown tomorrow probably or ring in the doctors my eyelashes still look really good I had a lash lift just before Christmas and I really want to learn how to do it myself I can tint my own eyelashes, but putting perming solution near my eyelashes just doesn't seem like the best idea. I go to my cousin to get them done. She's like a nail technician and beautician. I also feel like she'd be cross with me if I learned how to do my own eyelashes. I'm rambling now because um, I've taken some rather strong painkillers. Hasn't done anything, which is good. I just feel like I could go to sleep, which is good. Um, my face looks really round. I mean, it is really round, but... Good night. Bye. Okay. Shut up, Hannah. Hi, so my name is George. I'm 23 years old and very tired, but this seemed like a really fun project to be a part of, so I thought I would persist and just push through the tiredness and go to bed straight afterwards. Um... I've been at work all day during the first day of the third lockdown and one of the first things I got told when we went into work was we're going we're working from home as of next shift. So I've got a couple of days off but today I had to bring my computer home with me that is currently sat waiting to be set up which I'll need to do once I finish this. And then two days to chill and work on some personal projects before working at home again. 
Um, the job I'm working at now is in a call centre. I did have one before this that I ended up leaving just due to stress more than anything else, but this one's a lot less stressful for me, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Um, I've worked, as I've worked home before, so it's not too unusual for me. Um, but yeah, just have to see how it goes. Um, and these videos will be a fun way for me to look back on either my rise to overcoming an obstacle or descent into madness. Stay tuned to find out, I guess. And voila, we're all set up to work from home. Um, so this is the room I'm pretty much going to be spending my life in for the next, hopefully not too long. Um, but yeah. Um, one thing I noticed today actually going to work um, was it was really weird because um, where I worked, not all worked, um, it's pretty much city centre. Um, so normally it's really busy, especially in rush hours, I'm sure you could imagine. But literally no one at all. Um, to get in the metro, normally it's a good dozen or so people on the platform. I was literally the only other, only person. only other person there today was someone going around disinfecting the benches. Um, on the metro itself, I think maybe two people on the carriage. And then when I got in the city centre, nothing. A couple of people who looked like they were doing the same thing as what I did at the end of the day of just packing up to start working from home. But that was it. And then when I was going home from work, um, admittedly I didn't pay too much attention because I was busy lugging that around. But yeah, no one at all. Um, a lot of metro was delayed massively, which wasn't particularly fun. But I guess I don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, yeah, got to a food shop. I wasn't doing today, but I'm too tired, so it's a tomorrow problem now. And yeah, tomorrow should be a fun day though. Got two days off. Got to go shopping. Got to work on a nice fun project, which I will probably show more of tomorrow. Um, yeah, but for now, I think today is going to be a finish this. Maybe play on a laptop for a bit. And then go to bed because I am exhausted and I am sick of these early starts. But life of an adult, fun. Hello. Um, one final little video for the day. It's about quarter to ten. Um, and surprise, <laughs> my eyebrows aren't real. Um, we've had some update from work, which is good. Um, just some changes to policies that are reassuring, which is nice. Um, so it might be a bit easier to go into work and feel motivated, um, which is good because I've got a lot to do tomorrow. Um, but yeah, um, nice positive end. I did exactly what I said I was going to do earlier, which is, uh, Sit and play the switch for seven hours and look after a poorly puppy um, who I'm sure will make it onto one of these videos at some point because um, <laughs> he's too beautiful not to. But yeah, um, nice end to the first day of lockdown. Uh, always good to feel like I am valued by my workplace. Um, I forgot that I cut myself. Well, I was shaving my eyebrow this morning. That's annoying. It's fine. We just like we don't shave them tomorrow. I'll we'll rock some prickly brows. Oh, I could draw hedgehogs. I'm not going to draw hedgehogs. It's going to be like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm not drawing hedgehogs. But yeah, happy first day of lockdown, everyone. I hope. Good. Good night.